What is up everybody, Scape211 here on the test server once again, and today we're going to be looking at the EM Rifle 6, alright? So they're doing the 6, the 10, and the, uh, the, um, the 16, alright? 16 is OP, the 10 is riding the line, the 6 doesn't feel that bad, but the whole question is, is, is this viable, you know, for your light mechs to run the 610, alright? So with this build, I'm running the shadow, and um, I'll put the stats up. But this is like maxed out stats uh, with the with the best pilot. So this one should be pretty beastly to know how good it's actually gonna do damage wise. This is doing uh, like uh, if you if you hit double damage, which is likely to do with this kind of stuff maxed out. Uh, it's like between both shots when you do a full volley, it is like 115, 116k uh, on paper. Um, and, and in practice, that doesn't seem too far off. Uh, hard thing is when you're in closer. This map has, uh, closer ranges for me when you really gotta defend stuff, so I probably won't be doing those huge numbers, but this should be still pretty solid, I think. Um, one thing I found really interesting with this weapon, uh, when I saw it on the test server, it actually does display all the different, um, percentage values that you get. It shows the 50%, and what's nice about this is because you already have dual copies of this, Sometimes dual copies or like certain things or certain stats don't show up for the lighter mechs or for the lighter weapons, sorry, um, because of, uh, you know, the benefits that it's supposed to give to the, the higher caliber weapons, especially with the dual copies and all that. Um, so it's nice to see that uh, the same percentage values goes all the way throughout for this. So that was cool to see. Man, I'm trying to... Play the position I normally do. I'm probably playing too aggressively with the shadow, but it's crazy that Sans 75 meters with a dual volley, I'm still able to kill most of these guys. I know I'm on the test server. I know these are four to five star mechs, but it's still crazy to me. This is probably very similar to what the actual AI will be. And again, yeah, so you're getting the, the 60 and then the 70K shots like that. And that's still, you know, uh, 113k, not quite as much. Yeah, that one was a higher amount, probably more the, the ideal range, but I only hit with one, so it was 70k. Um, so that one, I think only one of them hit. I think the other one hit the post, but 72k. So it still hits, you know, the good numbers. Uh, very impressed with it. Um, and I still think you're, you're probably going to want to do both volleys at the same time when you're running the light mech, but I still think it's quite good. Um, I've been been happy with his performance it does seem like honestly i mean it, it feels really easy to pilot this weapon i'm not gonna lie even though it probably is a sniper weapon and it looks like it should be harder i do think obviously it's gonna be trickier when you're playing against players but you're gonna just try to catch them off guard and that's gonna be easier to do with something like shadow that's why i thought he would be a good one to test this with but uh i also wanted to test this with something a little more fun and do the lancer so we're gonna do that one next and i'm gonna change up the build a little bit but that's going to be a good time too. So uh, let me let me switch some stuff up, and we'll give that a shot as well. All right, I love me some Lancer play. I'm not super good with it, but it's a really fun mech. And uh, for this one, I actually decided to keep it simpler in terms of like more realistic for somebody that's like free to play, doesn't have all the crazy stuff. I'll have the loadout here. This is still the maxed out stuff, but it's maxed out with Maverick, and then only using rare implants, namely the damage, the range, and then just a cooldown for the jumping ability. I, I may not need the cooldown, but I thought it'd be good. I don't know what the range is on this, but I should be good here, roughly. Oh yeah, I gotta love the jumpy shots. That's so fun. All right, I'm gonna see if I can clear out some stuff here and then uh, hopefully jump up top. Lancer to me is gonna be super like fun as well as deadly with this weapon if you know what you're doing with it. Um, again, I, I don't know exactly what to expect with real players, but oh man, this, this is gonna be a fun one, I think, uh, for a lot of people. I love getting up here with this. This is such a command position. You're able to see all sides. Um, you're able to get sight lines on everything for your whole team to see and with this kind of a weapon setup Man, it is gonna be devastating. I can, I can bet. Oh, man. I messed up that shot Yeah, I've been having issues where like this kind of um, uh, Forces the targeting. Oh, not bad for up close too. That was closer range um, Yeah, this is less than the Yeah, I didn't see what the numbers were on that, but it's closer to uh, it's less than 75 meters most of these Boom. Okay, so that was like 46k, 27k. Um, so surprising that it got the kill. That one was a little beefier because he was at the, the max range, the ideal range. Is that a Zephyr? Or no? Okay. 
That one wasn't. That was the stalker. There we got the juggy. Boom, a one shot as well. This is crazy. I love it though. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, there's a Zephyr. All right, let's see if we can uh, stay out of his sight lines, but then just get the shot in. Yeah. Ooh, he tried to get one back in on me. I love it when I can go toe to toe with a Zephyr. Oh, that's always that's always appealing. Nice. Okay. It's crazy though that I'm still getting singleton shots that'll take guys out, and I can't tell if it's because it's quickly in the mix, um, if it's with overheat or it's just again these are weaker bots. But um, that still means that like when you get this stuff maxed out, when you're just playing against bots, you're still gonna get a lot of fun shots. Yeah. So you saw that tweaking like between the targeting. It happens to me a lot on blue stacks, and I don't exactly know why. It tries to um, uh, do the uh, lock targeting. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna get this effort. Here we go. It's gonna be a fun shot. Here we go. Do. Oh no! Oh, I was so close. Oh, dang it. Oh man, like half a second longer. I would have had that jump shot. I mean, that wasn't an amazing jump shot. I've seen people do amazing jump shots, but hey, I mean, that was me just trying it straight up for fun. I'm excited to see some people do some crazy type of shots with this kind of weapon. To me, this weapon, uh, you know, it feels fun killing bots. It doesn't feel OP. The the 10 is, like I said, borderline. And then the um, the 16 is insane. That, that one to me is going to be nuts. I think it's way too OP. Uh, but as far as this weapon goes, I, I don't mind it. And having some fun with light mechs, here's my stats set up for this one. And even when you're using the lesser stuff, if you didn't get the main pilot, you didn't get the other stuff, and you just got the weapons, you can still have a lot of fun, be pretty viable. Um, even against, uh, you know, regular setups and whatnot. But I don't know. I think it's going to be a fun weapon. Realistic to get? I don't know. Maybe if you're doing light mechs. But you guys can let me know what you think about it below. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.